Hi everyone, this is Steel17 with the new episode of breaking news from the world of AI and technology. This week, like as always, was hot and brought us a lot of new products, a lot of new applications that I will tell you about. So get yourself comfortable, it's rolling real news, let's get started. Microsoft has had a huge leak of the company's internal documents. Now we know about the new Xbox Series X will come out next year. Along with that will come out a new gamepad similar to DualSense, Bethesda plans to release Fallout 3 and Oblivion Remaster, and last but not least, Microsoft wanted to buy Nintendo. Yup, not a bad data leak. Not bad data leak. And I wonder who did it like hackers or employee, but very very interesting. Nintendo Switch is no longer needed. A blogger has turned an average laptop into a portable console. Inside of this console, Intel Core i7, 12GB of RAM and half of a terabyte SSD. The best part is that all these components can be easily changed. The author promises to finalize the design and start selling the device as a built kit. Well, that's the new good example how to do business in your garage. The concept of such startups from 70s is still alive. And so if he really finalized the design, I think it's gonna be not bad product. Secret footage of the creation of the new iPhone has been discovered. So Apple pays their designers for a reason, I guess. Every year after Apple's presentation, similar memes appear. I think it's already kinda ritual, but nevertheless it looks kinda ridiculous, especially if you roughly understand how inner kitchen of the design office works. I mean, probably like 10 people been working on this new button whole year. And that's how it works, especially in the big, big companies. By the way, speaking about the new button. First videos of the new action button on the iPhone 15. So as you can see, now button have a lot of functions. And yeah, it's cool, but I find it like super inconvenient. The good old action button may not have the same functionality, but it was still a handy feature and you would definitely never confuse it with the volume buttons. So maybe some of you have already bought a new iPhone. So what do you think, guys? I'm curious. Apple messed up twice in their presentation. Those of you who like to obsess over details, sit back and enjoy. So in general, it turns out that staff of 10 designers who worked on the new button and another department of like 1000 designers who made the video apparently very much want to go to work at Google. Samsung showed how to do commercials Right, so here's an idea. The guy who was stolen by aliens had an iPhone. Yes, it looks like Samsung hired a really good creative director and he was clearly able to prove himself in his new position. It's very simple advertising. When you see such a product, you don't want to skip it, you want to share it with your friends. So really good job. The developers have managed to train Stable Diffusion to generate logos in Vector. Diffusion logo will ask you for a little description of the future logo for which you will have to fill in special fields. As a result, you will get 8 variants that you can edit, add text and save in desired formats. So it's really handy application if you make custom logos. This thing is definitely worth to try. By the way, you can find the link to this application and all the links to all the products from this episode in the description description in a special Google document, just for you friends to make your life more convenient so if you like something, you can check it out. Link in the description. Someone has figured out a new way to make money on artificial intelligence. And now he's doing the news with the Spongebob reporter Fish. Maybe I can put the reporter Fish from the Spongebob instead of me in my news episode will get more views. What do you think? Write in the comments. Neural networks can now create the perfect portfolio for you, all thanks to a new service from Contra. Portfolio magic works super simply. You fill in all the required fields and the output is the cool portfolio that no HR can resist. So I'm really interested to create new portfolio right now, so I will definitely try this application on myself. So you want to get a good job before artificial intelligence takes away all the jobs? You have another artificial intelligence for that. That's the paradox. 
AI can now replace an entire development team. The ChatDev project has a dozen virtual assistants that will perform any task. Designers will make the design, developers will write the code, and the virtual project manager will give advice to other AI. From what I understand, so far this team won't write you like AAA project, but nevertheless, they are capable of a lot. Very cool project. I like the concept. I really like how it looks like. I really like the design. So, my respect. Neural Network for Interface Design We Zero will create for you a beautiful and functional interface from text requests. The result of generation can be safely edited and you can move the code of element wherever you need. So another AI assistant for designers. So in general, I think now to be a professional designer is becoming easier and easier. Your main job is to know the right application and correctly write prompts, although you know it's not easy either just experience, new experience. Typeset and its view of visual content creation. It used to be impossible to do without a designer, then services like Canva appeared, now Typeset does almost everything for the user. Typeset analyzes these words in real time and prepares different variants of content design, supplementing them with relevant images. So interesting service like as always for the designers, and if you want to spend even less time at work, you should definitely try it. Top reason to get a swan. Swan will do all the dirty and boring work for you on a Friday night. Well, if you teach him how to use artificial intelligence application in the right way, why not? At least he looks like he knows what he's doing. Google has released an application that animates static pictures. Just look how cool it looks. No ad effects, just beautiful looped animations. You can test this new application for free. So I don't know. It looks okay. And still Gen 2 can do a lot more. But once again, it's kind of strange to comparison Google with small artificial intelligence startup. Anyway, it looks cool, but Gen 2 is a winner. Now, BART will be used. Google has made its chatbot a friendship with the, all the services in the ecosystem. This means that BART has learned to search for information and in documents, mail, YouTube, and so on. To be honest, it's not like a super fresh news, and I still haven't figured out where I can find this chatbot in the Google interface. But like idea, it sounds cool. Something similar with ChatGPT and Microsoft Office. So I haven't used BART yet, and I'm curious how it works in practice. Stability AI is jumping into audio generation. Stable audio is already gaining popularity dramatically. The platform allows you to generate up to 20 tracks of 45 seconds per month for free. The music and copyright is completely yours. So I have already started writing my first AI song and I will definitely give it a try. This is what the giant MSG Sphere screen looks like in Las Vegas. So this is a really cool technology, which is often used in cinematography right now. If you've seen the new Star Wars, for example, they use such screens to create more natural lighting. Anyway, for me, such a technology is even cooler than the VR, and I'd love to visit such a studio once. I think it's mind-blowing. The Sheikh of Abu Dhabi has made for himself the largest hammer in the world. You can live in it very comfortably, as it's 14 meters long, 6 wide and almost 7 high. This space is enough to build a living room, toilet and kitchen inside. So I wonder how much fuel such a car burns, like 100 liters per kilometer. All in all, it looks like a very strange project from the world where ordinary people and titans exist. Extreme tracking. Pakistan tracking as a visualization of customer requirements. What the fuck? This guy on a scooter obviously knows how to manipulate gravity, and I think he's hoping for the road to be as straight as possible, as I don't understand how you can turn while driving such a device. Anyway, good luck for him and be careful on the road, friends, especially if you're from Pakistan. Yep. 
Look what they created at the Burning Man 2023 festival. It was a beautiful spectacle before the rain turned the whole San City into one big mud pit. Never been to one of these events, but this year it looks like it was fun. But the nature knows better when the festival has to end. Pro Painter is an artificial intelligence that can remove objects from video. The tool also has the option to extend or paint the borders of the video. Description and installation instructions are available on the GitHub. So if you believe the video footage, the tool works really good. Another thing that's installing process is like one day journey, but maybe it's worth it. If you want to remove a couple of elements from your video, you can use it. Chipping has officially begun. Musk has started selecting volunteers to implant the chips directly into the brain. The requirements for candidates are simple. They must be paralyzed. With Neural Link, they are supposed to learn how to control a PC with their mind. Well, finally, Neural Link, so oh my god. After all the projects we have seen so far, Elon Musk is starting his own. So what can I say? I'm waiting for the results. AI closets were shown at the New York Fashion Week. The closets from Kalina Strata brand, which were generated by a neural network, created the resonance in the fashion community. So it's probably the good example where AI is not a great solution. But for a high fashion show, these outfits are not so bad actually. Honda Suitcase Scooter. The new suitcase has a range of 30 km and can accelerate up to 24 km per hour. That's the great alternative to an electric scooter. It's worth nothing that it weighs 18 kg. The price is $995. 18 kg. Fact. That's heavy. How much extra money you will pay for this? How much extra money you will pay you? for the weight of the suitcase. So it's kind of fun toy for me if you want to flex hard in front of everyone in duty free. And it's not too expensive for such flex, I guess. Fucking dog. A gamer's sweet dream, Portal 2 in VR. As a child, I really liked Portal game series and even without VR, jumping into portals was an unreal pleasure. And for me, it's interesting to experience this in VR, I think it's like next level. Well, you hated him, he was having fun. The passive aggressive Duolingo all is having a great time at Oktoberfest. Who the fuck is this old Duolingo? I mean, literally the entire newsfeed is filled with him. But I will tell you, Oktoberfest, it's like something. Last year I was there in person, you know, ate sausages and drank beer and it was really, really cool. I would love to visit this place once again. And that's all the hot news from the last week. I think it was an interesting weekend. We saw a lot of new products, a lot of new applications that we can use in our artificial intelligence projects. You know what I mean. Regarding my news, I've already made a video that will be released this Sunday, like as always, where I will tell you about the free pick. Yes, free pick. Finally, not Adobe stock. And I think you will like this video, so subscribe to this channel to not miss new video. Share this video with your friends to keep them up to date with the fresh news. Have a nice Friday, have a great weekend, and it was still 17. See you this Sunday. Bye. God damn it was struggle guys, my audio interface is fucking dying. My audio interface is dying, my laptop is dying, my memory card is dying and the fucking camera, all everything around me is dying. Maybe the problem in me? Huh? I have to chill out guys, bye.